Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you basic comparison of half wave rectifier, full wave rectifier and full wave bridge rectifier. And here I'll compare these three different categories of rectifiers based on different parameters. See, I have covered these three rectifiers in great details in my video lecture series of basic electronics, where I have derived each and every parameters of these three rectifiers. Here, I'll be comparing all the parameters. Based on it, you can understand like in which situation we can use these rectifiers. Right. So here, let us compare these rectifiers based on number of diodes to be used in the circuit. So when it comes to half wave rectifier, one should know we need to have only one diode in the circuit. When it comes to full wave rectifier using center cap transformer, in that we need to have two diodes in the circuit. And in case of bridge rectifier, for a bridge connection, we need to have four diodes in the circuit, right? Now let us talk about necessity of transformer. So first of all, you need to understand like how we use transformer. See transformer that we use it for step down purpose in majority of cases. Let me tell you why. Let us talk about one general application like you want to charge your mobile, like I'm charging my mobile, you see over here. So AC main supply that is at board having voltage of 230 volt. So as if you have 230 voltage of AC, then can you directly charge your mobile? Obviously, no. The reason is mobile is getting charged at voltage around 3.2 voltage or 5 voltage, right? So 230 voltage that should be getting stabbed down over here, right? So that is the basic purpose. Otherwise, if you have AC signal, which is having voltage of 5 volt, then you don't need to have step down transformer over here, right? So you see, generally we use this transformer for which purpose? For step down of voltage as I am using step down transformer over here, here also I am using that, right? But here you need to understand one thing. You see, whatever step down transformer that you use, in which secondary is having two terminal or not. So here we are having two terminal secondary. Two terminal secondary means what? Two terminal secondary means here we are having signal with respect to two terminals. So one terminal is having main and second is ground, right? So here with bridge rectifier secondary is having two terminals and even with half wave rectifier with half wave rectifier secondary is having two terminal you can observe here so here with half wave rectifier and with bridge rectifier we don't need to have transformer compulsory right if you have low voltage signal you don't need to have transformer over here with half wave and with bridge rectifier. But when it comes to full wave rectifier using center tap transformer, you see here secondary is having three terminals. So these are the phases that is happening with respect to neutral, right? So three terminal signal that we need to have for this circuit. So here with full wave rectifier, there is a need of transformer, right? There is a need need of center tabbed transformer there is a need of center tabbed transformer right now let me explain you how output voltage and current is that right so half wave rectifier that is having half wave conversion from ac to dc so input will be ac signal and output will be dc signal so here with half wave rectifier 0 to pi that is having conversion and pi to 2 pi that is having zero voltage again from 2 pi to 3 pi there is a conversion so that is how waveforms are coming where this maximum value will be vm right with full wave and with bridge rectifier full wave is getting converted from ac to dc you can observe here right full wave that is getting converted from AC to DC where maximum is Vm only. Maximum voltage is 
Vm only, right? So that is how waveforms are there. So voltage and current waveform that will be same over here, right? Here we are not connecting any filters. So without filters, waveform will be like this only at output. Now let us talk about peak inverse voltage. So first of all, you need to understand what is peak inverse voltage. See peak inverse voltage, that is a maximum reverse bias voltage can be given to diode. So you see here with half wave rectifier, we have one diode. So what can be maximum reverse bias voltage in the circuit? So with half wave rectifier, PIV can be VM, right? With full wave rectifier using center tap transformer, peak inverse voltage is 2VM, right? Here we need to have diode which is having voltage that should be 2VM. If you don't have 2VM peak inverse voltage of diode, then there is a possibility that the diode may have breakdown, right? See, if you give higher than the peak inverse voltage, then there can be breakdown. And if breakdown is happening with diode, then diode may get damaged. So with full wave rectifier using center rep transformer, you need to consider diodes which are having higher rating. While in case of bridge rectifier, peak inverse voltage is Vm only, right? So full wave rectifier using center rep transformer needs higher rating of diode, right? Now let us talk about average output voltage and current. So I have derived average output voltage and current for half wave and full wave, right? So for half wave, average voltage will be Vm by pi and average current will be Im by pi. For full wave, it will be 2 Vm by pi and current will be 2 Im by pi. And that is same for bridge, right? 2 Vm by pi, that is a average voltage and current is 2 Im by pi, right? That is how average voltage and current that will be there, right? Now RMS value, that even I have derived, right? So with half wave, RMS voltage will be Vm by 2 for half wave and current will be Im by 2. With full wave, voltage will be Vm by root 2 and current will be Im by root 2. With bridge rectifier, it will be Vm by root 2 and Im by root 2. Both are full wave, right? So it will be Vm by root 2, right? And current will be Im by root 2 with bridge and with full wave rectifier. Both are full wave, that's why. Now form factor. So first of all, you need to understand how form factor that we calculate. See form factor, that is VRMS divided by VDC. Form factor is VRMS by VDC, right? Or V average that you can say. So here you see, I have explained you average value of voltage and current, right? And RMS value of voltage and current. So you just take ratio, like see, Vm by 2 divided by Vm by pi. So that will be pi by 2. So you can say with half wave, it is 1.57, right? With full wave, VRMS by VDC. So VRMS, that is Vm by root 2 and VDC that is 2 Vm by pi. So see this will be this will be 1.11 right and that is same for bridge that is same for bridge right. Now see ripple factor. So what is ripple factor? So ripple factor that even I have explained that is square root of that is square root of VRMS by VDC square minus 1. In a way you can say square root of form factor square minus 1. So square root of 1.57 square minus 1. If you do this, you will be getting ripple factor that is 1.21 1 1 in case of half wave rectifier and that will be 0 0.482 0 0.482 in case of bridge and full wave rectifier, right? And now question is there based on ripple frequency. See ripple frequency means what? How ripple is happening? Like you see here, that is how waveforms are coming. You see waveforms are happening like this. 
with half wave rectifier so input frequency if i say input frequency means ac signal frequency if it is f then ripple is also happening with frequency f only right see here this ripple is happening with this much time right this ripple is happening with this much time next ripple that will happen after a time t but if you observe here with full wave ripple is happening with this much time right so here you can say frequency is double of input here frequency is double of input so if i say input frequency is f then the ripple frequency is also f with half wave rectifier with full wave rectifier ripple frequency is 2f right if input frequency is f now rectification efficiency see rectification efficiency that is very less with half wave rectifier i have derived that also that was 0 0.40 by 6 and with full wave rectifier we have derived that 0 0.812 right 0 0.812 so that is how basic parameters are there and even if you want to understand like how to derive rectification efficiency then basic equation is efficiency is equals to pdc means average dc power divided by prms means rms power so PDC that you can have as per VDC square by RL divided by VRMS square by RL or you can have this in terms of current even. So IDC RL, IDC square RL, VRMS sorry, IRMS square RL based on this also you can derive and we are already having all the parameters over here. So just substitute you will be getting these digits only right that is how one can compare all the parameters i hope you have understood this still if anything you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video